hi guys welcome back to another tutorial video in this video i'm going to do photo manipulations i'm going to create a portal effect like this in a with photo all the photos that i'll be using in this video are from us place if you want to download it as well just click on the link in the description okay so without any further ado let's jump into a finished photo and get started okay so this is the photo that i'm going to use as an example and i'm going to create a portal right here okay and i want the shape of the portal to be circle so i'm going to use a lip tool and make sure the fill is no color for the stroke i'm going to use white color and set the width to 15 okay and then for the pressure make it like this Okay, then create a circle. So this pressure is to make some area fading away like this, as you can see. But we cannot decide which side is fading away. So I need to rotate it. And then align it. Okay, because I want it to face sideways, so this area is fading away. And you can also use perspective tool to align the portal to make it more realistic. Okay, after that, I'm going to apply auto glow and set the color to cyan then set the radius around 20 to give this effect as you can see you can also duplicate this layer and then make it bigger or smaller then align it like this or make another one and put it behind okay you can make you can also make something like this and then just select all of these three layer and group it together i will name it portal and then you can also add some effect to the portal okay so i will add this lighting effect to the portal okay so i will pass it here and align it and change the blend mode from normal you can change it to lighten or color dots okay i will change it to color dots and then align it like this okay then put it below the portal layer and then duplicate and put it below here as well okay let's make another one and put it on middle okay and also group it together okay after that it's almost done i will make something like mirror in the portal it's easier to duplicate it this layer the portal layer just choose one of it and then put it below the lighting layer and i will color it cyan like this then again change the blend mode to lighten and set the opacity around 40 and it will look like this or maybe you can reduce it to 30 okay that's better and i'm going to add something to the get okay so i will add this asset falling snow by pepper farms i will add this blizzard effect And then mask this layer and use brush tool to remove the outer side 
I will use this brown soft brush and make sure the foreground color is black then just pan up the area that you want to remove like this okay so the portal is done next you can add the object to the portal so i will use this object as you can see i have already removed the background so i will copy it here and then flip it and align it make sure you put it on top of the layer okay and then you can remove the area that is on the get so it will look like this person is coming out from this portal okay now it looks real we're almost done the next step is we're going to create a shadow okay so create this curve adjustments and make it darker like this then press ctrl i to invert and use brush tool to make the shadow make sure the foreground color is white and just pan off the area that you want to make it into shadow okay like this and i'm going to add some blue light right here Okay, so I will create this recolor adjustments, then drag it into the object and make it cyan like this. Then just like the shadow, click Ctrl I to invert and use brush tool to pan on the area that you want to make it. So we kind of create some light of the portal. okay so it's done okay sorry and one last step i will merge all of this layer into a new layer by pressing ctrl shift alt e okay and then go to develop persona and do some basic adjustments Okay, after that, click develop after we have done. And as you can see, this is the final result. Okay, so now it looks so cinematic and real. And that was how I create a portal effect in a Vini photo. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit that like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. What? <laughs>